extraordinary cases which I couldn't um, cope with. Uh, again, Mr. Pally gives a very fine description of it, but I will not um, ruin your day with it, except that it ends up with two lads having an argument, and one of them going over the Toxteth dock wall, 12 foot down into the water, 27 feet of water, no, sorry, 27 foot down into the water, the water's 12 foot deep, he had begun swimming lessons, which he had not yet completed. <laughs> so there's only one outcome to that, isn't there? He is a goner. It is a story of absolute drunkenness. <laughs> drunkenness beyond anything that you could imagine in your life. Even in Channel 5 last night out, I saw a Channel 5 night out programme recently, well, if you think Nottingham or Norwich is bad in 2015, well, I tell you what, this case is unbelievable. Now, here's the bit I wanted, though, for you. John Bateman, the solicitor, 115A Dale Street, they always give the solicitor's addresses, I like that. What I want to mention about this case is that it all depends on their, a lot of the time it depended on their work. Bateman collected 26,000 names for a petition to save this young fellow. Hitchens charged with the murder of this man Williamson who goes over the dot wall. But what I wanted to say about Bateman was, and he's a very well-known Liverpool solicitor, he must have worked tremendously hard to save somebody who the majority of a lot of people would have just said, well, yeah, serves the pair of them really right. Stupid argument at the end of the night, you know. But he did, he worked really hard, he did his very best. The barrister, he just does his case. You know what happens in law. The, the solicitor instructs the barrister, the barrister comes in, fights the case for the defence or the, or the Crown, and then goes to the next case. Solicitors can't do that, they can only go so far with cases, but Bateman, give me his due, give me his moments, he did his very best for, um, for his uh, young man. Fortunately for him, the prisoner, Hitchin, is condemned to death, and faints, and is carried down the stairs. Unfortunately, Mr Justice Liberty persuaded the Home Secretary for a reprieve. The judge was very important in these matters. They could usually, usually, if they wanted to, persuade the Home Secretary to reprieve. Not always, but usually. Now, sometimes the juries would give a recommendation to mercy. There's no such thing in our law. It doesn't exist. But juries did it all the time, nearly all the time. Sometimes when you wouldn't, why actually? Sometimes because of age. And they did it all the, nearly all the time. Often the judges ignored it. The judges ignored it. They'd like to have been, a lot of the time, the judges would like to have ignored their juries, to be honest. But a lot of the times they ignored these recommendations. Well, on this occasion, Ridley must have persuaded the Home Secretary to reprieve him. So he was. That's the last year of this case. Another case 